Hey guys, what's up? It's Hope, and this is my 27 week post op VSG update. Um, let me see. Um, this past weekend, I posted three videos for my six month surge anniversary, and I just wanted to take the time and thank all of you so much for all of your comments and all of your support. Um, I did go ahead and post that third video, and I've gotten some really good feedback, so I really appreciate all of your support. Um, that's one of the things that's so amazing about this journey is that I found all of you to share my journey with and that you continue to support me every step of the way. And I just really appreciate that. Um, one thing I do want to touch base on real quick. Um, I cannot figure out how to reply to comments on my videos on my phone or on the iPad. Um, I have my phone with me all the time and most of the time I have my iPad too and I haven't figured out how to reply to comments so I'm trying to figure that out I'm so sorry that I haven't responded um, to any of your feedbacks that's why I definitely am seeing your comments I'm reading all of your um, wonderful posts but I haven't been able to reply back um, so I'm going to try and figure that out um, hopefully soon so that way I can respond back um, and let you all know that I am reading all of your comments and I try to subscribe to everyone who subscribes to me um, that way I can follow your journey just like you're following mine um, so what is up what's new for week 27 um, I'm back at work today which I'm super sad about <laughs> um, I work for a local university and we had two weeks off for Christmas and New Year's and I did not want to go back this morning not to mention that there's some sort of crazy winter storm happening right now. Um, I know a lot of people up north are getting snow, so if that's you out there, please be careful. Um, down here in Texas, we don't really see snow very much, um, especially where I live. I live in the southern part of Texas, um, southeast part, I guess. And um, I've only seen snow once in my whole life um, in Texas where I live, so... Um, I don't really expect it to snow. I don't think it's going to, but it is cold. Um, this morning when I left for work, it was like 27 degrees, which is really cold um, compared to some of the, the weather we typically get during this time of year. Um, so I'm just grateful for being able to stay warm, and I hope all of you out there are staying warm too. Um, I'll just go ahead and bring you all the numbers, I guess. Um, so last week I came to you weighing 217. Um, my highest weight ever recorded was 330 pounds. The day of surgery, I was 306. I had vertical sleeve gastrectomy surgery on July 1st, 2013. Um, and like I said last time, I, last week I came to you weighing 217. And today I am 217. Um, which I'm really not surprised about, honestly, with all the traveling that we've been doing. I guess a lot of the traveling we did this past week, um, going out of town to visit my husband's family, um, I don't, you know, I don't really see, um, I, I guess I kind of figured that was going to happen. Um, we were in the car a lot and I found myself kind of snacking more. Um, and even though I don't eat crap food, I mean, I'm still taking in calories, whether that be, you know, high protein, you know, Quest bars or, um, nuts or, you know, almonds or, you know, whatever, um, you're still taking in those calories. And, um, I definitely ate more calories this past week than I have in a long time. But I talked about, um, this in, in one of my other videos where, um, my hunger kind of, you know, peaks and falls, peaks and falls. Like sometimes I won't be hungry at all and I won't want to eat and, you know, I'll have to make myself really eat the bare minimum. Um, but sometimes I like, it's all I want to do is eat and, and we'll call it boredom, call it head hunger, whatever. And sometimes I'm really am just hungry. Um, but I kind of feel like a lot of those old habits start coming back. And so, um, it's, it's hard to kind of rein all of that in and make sure that I am making really good choices. Um, you know, but I'm human and, um, I sometimes feel like I forget that fact um y'all know that I'm struggling with being strict on myself and kind of feeling like I'm being too hard on myself when it comes to food but um as I explained in my other video I kind of feel like I have to be so um this week how I'm going to change all of that is um to get back logging all of my food um I really haven't been doing that the last couple of weeks um just because a lot of the things I'm eating are the same thing or the same week after week and so I know how much protein's in it I know how much you know I am eating and so 
it's um I don't I didn't feel like it was necessary for me to be logging everything that's where I feel like I messed up because I'm not holding myself accountable as far as you know how many calories I'm getting each day how much protein I'm getting in each day I mean granted I'm, I'm super excited that I didn't gain anything um, but I really want to continue losing as much as I can. I know after the six month, it starts getting more difficult and I definitely feel like it has. Um, the weight is definitely not melting off like it was before or just kind of falling off, I guess. So, um, <sighs> back to yawning again. Excuse me. Um, so, I'm going to try and log all of my food, really focus on getting all my protein in. I already drank my protein shake this morning. Um, and then for uh, lunch, I had some almonds and I had some string cheese. Um, and so, I know that doesn't sound like a very nutrition nutritional meal, but um, I didn't really, I don't know, I didn't really feel like eating a heavy lunchtime meal, I guess. I never really do. Um, I'm also going to get back to making sure I'm measuring everything. Um, I just feel like it's an easy way for me to um, make sure that I'm not going overboard. Um, make sure that I'm doing what I need to be doing. Um, what else? Oh, I want to talk about the hair loss. Um, it has definitely slowed down. Um, it's not as bad as it was. But it is still, my hair is super thin. Like, I have to wear it up. I cannot wear it down. Um, it just is, it's really thin. Like, I want to do a video where I show y'all what it looks like after I get out of the shower. Because you would not believe how thin it looks. Um, and that's, that's been really difficult, honestly. It's, it make, it's make, it's made me really self-conscious about my hair. Um, so, um, hopefully within the next couple of weeks, going to go see my surgeon and my nutritionist for my six-month post-op checkup, and hopefully they're going to be able to tell me, you know, what's going on. I have a feeling, of course, it's a vitamin deficiency, um, because my nutritionist had said that, um, a couple of weeks ago when I emailed her, um, but they're going to do blood work and make sure and see what's going on. Um, I am taking biotin, but I really don't see any any change as far as I guess maybe that's why it's slowed down I'm not really sure I know biotin affects different people different ways so um I kind of felt like I'm getting some new growth in around my hair around my um hairline up here you can kind of see um but it's still really thin so that's still a struggle for sure what else um I think that's all for now. I just wanted to make sure and come on and log, um, let y'all know what my weight was, and to thank you all for your support for the last videos that I posted. Um, week 27, I'm officially one week um, after six months, which is crazy. Um, I'm so grateful to be where I am, and hopefully this week I'll be able to make the necessary changes that I need to in order to continue losing weight. Um, I have lots of goals set before myself, so... Um, hopefully I'll be able to achieve those really soon. Um, but I'm just trying to remind myself that everyone's journey is different. Um, and that, you know, every day is different and every step of this journey is a blessing for sure. I know there are tons of people out there who would do anything to have surgery to help them, um, get on the right track to becoming the best them possible. So I'm just trying to remember to stay grateful, um, to be grateful and um, just appreciate every every step of this journey. So thank you so much for watching um, and I will see you guys again soon. Bye.